Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. So May, this is for the month of May. All right, so what do we have for May for Leo? What do we have for May? What do we have for the month of May? Magician in the mirror. So this is abundance. It really is abundance. Um, the magician is uh, has all the resources that, that they need. Um, you know, this is uh, manifesting something. Endless energy. It's like what you see is what you get. What you call in is what you get. What you ask for is what you get. So you're getting something that you asked for in May. Okay? It's like the I am presence. When you say I am, that's who you are. So it's like you have asked for something and you're getting it. It's like a wish. I feel like this is a wish being granted for you. Okay, I do. I feel like this is like a wish being granted. It's like you, you look in the mirror and you ask for it and it's the I am. It really is. This is your like I am. What you think you are is who you are. Okay, that's what I see this as being, um, which is interesting. There's a divine connection as well, a divine connection to a higher power here. It's like they hear your prayers. They hear your prayers and in May... Maybe, I don't know if you're manifesting something in May. Maybe it's the beginning of the process or you're getting what you asked for. That's what it looks like to me. And I went, when I said, uh, um, I don't know if I said it because I forget so fast, but limitless abundance, eight, eight, you know, that equals eight, which is the infinity symbol. Okay. Hmm. Endless energy as well. A direct connection. I think that you have a divine connection. And they've heard your prayers. Something like that. What do we have? Oh, here we go. Eight of rods. Eight of rods reversed. So you may be feeling down. You may be feeling down. Or something has been blocked. There's blocked communication. Or you maybe you've been blocking communication. Or you've been blocking something. Remember, the I am presence. What you think is what you are, and that is the truth. That is the truth. You know, this is the, you, typically the Eight of Wands upright is something positive. It's a positive message coming in. It's something good coming in. Triumphant news arriving on swift wings. But, now this is communication. But if you are communicating, if you're blocking it, with your thoughts or your or with negative thinking, you know, that's blocking it. So there's a, there's a message that is being blocked. Hmm. Or there could have been a delay. Ooh, the hangman reversed. Now the hangman reversed is refusing to go in and struggling to let go. Obsessed with control, not learning a lesson, hiding something, egotism, missing an opportunity. So somebody is missing an opportunity because they refuse to look at things from a new perspective. So if you refuse and you are stubborn as hell, well, you are a fixed sign now, aren't you? If you are stubborn, no, I don't need to look at things from a new perspective. It's, you know, I'm a know-it-all. The, the hangman is a know-it-all. You know, if you have that know-it-all... Uh, perspective and you're willing unwilling to see something from another perspective or anybody else's perspective then well things may be blocked things may be delayed now remember what i said i am that's very interesting you have to be open be open what you what you think is what you get and this person doesn't look very happy and they're not very happy because they're, because they're not getting their way this person isn't getting their way and they're not getting their way because they refuse to look at things from anybody else's point of view therefore there's no positive messages coming in there's nothing positive coming in because this person is so fixed so fixed so you got to let down that thought that your way is the only way or that your way is the best way you know what i'm saying 
um, which is interesting. Very stubborn. Stubborn, 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 stubborn. Now the thing is, is this reading could be you or the for you or the person that you're dealing with. So I don't know if that thing is gonna will make it focus. Maybe. Makes me so mad. I don't know why. Oh, it pisses me off. It really pisses me off. <sighs> I've messed with the settings so much. Um, maybe that's the problem. Anyhow, um, that guy is pissed. He's pissed. He's upset. Now, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. We have a very stubborn individual here. But then again, I have to tell you, if you think it's all them and not you, because that's the thing, is that's the thing. It's not me. It's the uh, blaming. You can't... <laughs> oh, that is so funny, isn't it, that that just came out of my mouth. It's not me. And that is exactly what this is. It's never me. What do we have for May? We have somebody here that is very, very, very stubborn. Very stubborn. Not getting their way. Pouting. Whew, foolish. Very foolish. Um, a lot of foolish pride here. This is pride. And these are both foolish. Okay, this is foolish. This is pride. But this is uh, reckless behavior. There's f some sort of fear. Somebody that uh, doesn't take risks. Will not take a risk. Poor judgment. We got poor judgment. Somebody that is heading for a fall. This person is heading for a fall. Ooh. The tower reverse. The tower reverses you. And then, you know, I'll get somebody that wants to tell me what the book says. That's somebody who refuses to look at things from an intuitive perspective. This is unavoidable. It's unavoidable. Somebody is trying to avoid challenge. They're trying to stay in a false sense of security. They're hanging on for dear life. Uh, pouting. Pouting over something. Um, and whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with, this is a permanent loss. Somebody could be losing. Um, now, the, the tower is a structure. It's, it's, a, it's a building or it's... A, uh, well, it's a structure. So this is something is crumbling. It's crumbling. A structure, a foundation is crumbling. There could be a fight. There could be a fight. There could be a big fight. And this could be very painful. There could be a painful loss here. Because this is foolish behavior. There's foolish behavior. So I feel like, I feel like somebody is going to get really pissed off because there's some sort of consequences. There's consequences for their foolish behavior. Their, their inability to see things from anybody else's point of view. I'm the smartest person. I know it all. I don't need to listen to anybody because I have all the answers. That's what I feel. So this is a rude awakening. And this is an extremely rude awakening. So somebody's going to get a rude awakening. Um, this person doesn't care. I don't know. It has no care whatsoever. It's my way or the highway. Queen of Rods upright. So this is somebody that is a force to be reckoned with. Somebody that is uh, has a lot of confidence. Extremely confident and extremely strong. So we have a very strong individual here, which probably could be you. You could be dealing with somebody that is mean. Somebody that is abusive. Somebody that um, has a lot of ego. Has a lot of pride. You know, you could be. You could be dealing with somebody that puts off false impressions. This person isn't true. They aren't stable. They aren't secure. Uh, they may, do make reckless uh, moves. You know, they do stupid things. There's definitely somebody here who does stupid things. Okay? And they're false. They don't... There's They're false. And maybe you see right through it. That could certainly be the case. You could certainly be the one that sees right through this person. Maybe you're going to be blocking somebody. You could be blocking somebody because this is blocking. So in May, you could be blocking somebody um, who is trying to push you to do something foolish. 
okay? This person doesn't care if you get hurt. This person doesn't. This person doesn't. You could be dealing with a Pisces. It doesn't have to be. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio. You could be dealing with somebody who is trying to push you to do something that you probably know that you shouldn't do. You're probably smart enough. You're probably wise enough to know better. But this person has their own agenda. You're dealing with somebody who definitely has their own agenda. And this person is pissed off. They may have some sort of vendetta against somebody. Maybe they want to use you. They may want to use you as a... Um, ploy of some sort. Anyway, uh, the Queen of Wad Rods is somebody that is very confident, strong, enthusiastic, determined, proud, um, confident, uh, a force to be reckoned with. So you may be taking on that energy. You may be taking on that energy. You're, you're doing good. And this person is behind you. You know, see, they're, they're, you're right here. They're behind. This person is, is mad at you. Somebody may be mad at you, Leo. It looks like this person is mad at you. Uh, they may be pissed off at you. They're pissed off because you're doing your own thing. Perhaps you have uh, turned your back on them. That's what it looks like to me. Maybe you blocked them and they're pissed off. You stopped communicating with them. You don't want to be involved with those that uh, false sense of security. You don't want to be involved with that fakeness because this is fake. You don't want to be involved. And maybe that's the case here. So you're probably turning your back on somebody and this person is pissed. This person is pissed, whoever this person is. I think it's a water sign. It could be an Aries, but it, it looks like it's a Pisces or a Scorpio to me. Um, they're mad. They're mad, mad, mad. Um, seven of Swords reversed. Getting caught. Getting caught. Somebody is maybe caught, be getting caught. They may be getting caught stealing something, getting caught doing something that lying doing something that they shouldn't be doing getting caught caught um with the tower there's with the right next to the tower they're doing some somebody is doing something that they shouldn't be doing and they're gonna fall flat on their face they really really are and my advice is to not engage with this person this person is a liar this person um, is a cheater. This person steals. They steal. They may think that you are naive because this is naive. They think that you got somebody here thinks you're naive. Oh my freaking God. You really do. You got somebody here that thinks that you are naive. They're going to try to build up something. They're trying to get you to believe their faults. Their false lies. You got somebody here that is a liar. You really do. And they think that you are naive. The meaning of the fool reversed is naive. My advice is to block this person and not communicate with them. I feel like this person is a um, huge, huge, huge liar. Um, Ace of Swords. Yeah, you've got to protect yourself. Just say no. You can just say no. I'm, I'm serious. You need to just say no to this person. Um, take a new approach. Put your guard up. Make, tell this person to step back. Say, no, no, I'm not getting involved with you. You know, that's what she's doing. No, nope, step back, step back. You're going to have to protect yourself from somebody, okay? Um, this person is going to try to get you. This person is going to try to get you to lie for them. Do something that is against the law. They are. My advice is to not act foolishly. Do not deal with this person. Push them away. Push this person away. They do not have good intentions. They are selling you some sort of lie, some sort of bullshit, and they think that you are naive. And my advice is to say, nope, no, I'm not doing this. Mm. Oh, yeah, you may be definitely be dealing with a Pisces. You may. This person is full of secrets, very deceptive, very deceptive. This person is not who you think they are, and they think that they can pull the wool right over your eyes. Very, 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 very cunning. This person hides under a shadow. The moon is ruled by the shadow. All is not as it seems. Be careful. 
Be really careful. Proceed with caution. This person is out for themselves and themselves only. And they will end up getting you in trouble. You will end up getting in trouble if you work with this person. You're going to get caught. Somebody's going to get caught doing something. All is not as it seems. Somebody thinks that you are vulnerable. They think that you are naive. And my advice is to say no. Unless you want to go down. Unless you want to sink. This person will, will, will make you sink. Four of Rods reverse. It could be a family member or somebody in your extended family. But this party is over. This is a very messy situation. There's no reunion coming. My advice is to be very careful with who you work with, who you engage with, because you got somebody here that is very secretive and deceptive, that is not looking for anything long term. This person is playing with you. And I think that you know this. I think that you know, you know, I think that you know that this person is deceptive. I think that your intuition will tell you that. I think that you need to protect yourself and Keep your back turned. Do not engage in this person's false, falseness, okay? This person's fakeness, unless you want to go down with them. You will go down with them. There will be a rude awakening. The tower reversed is a rude, 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 rude awakening that you cannot avoid. So anyway, in May, I feel like you need to remember who you are. Remember the I am that I started this out with. Remember who you are. Be honest. Be truthful. Do not let this angry individual that is in your circle. I think this person is part of your family or something like that. Or somebody that you have. Uh, it's a family member or an extended family member. It could be somebody... Um, in your extended family. Whoever this person is, this person is a liar. This person is a liar. They are very, 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 very deceptive. And if it's not a family member, it could be an ex, it could be a partner. There's, it's a water sign for sure. It's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person thinks that you are naive. You need to show them that you are not. You need to protect yourself and push this person away. This will not lead to happiness. This will actually steal your happiness. Steal happiness. This will this is a broken foundation and this is a broken foundation. This will this will totally uh shake you up, not in a good way. So I'm telling you right now, you got somebody here that is a very deceptive person that thinks that you are naive. They are going to try to take advantage of you. In the end, my advice is to block this person and keep on a trucking. Good luck.